What, is, yeah. what does Quebec think of Judith Thompson? Uh, they've been great. Not recently. I'm kind of surprised that Palace at the End hasn't been um, translated. Uh, not sure why, but maybe they need to hear their own stories. I don't know, although they do other things. Uh, but they've done some great... I, they did an I Am Yours where... I don't know how they got permission from the stage manager, but the whole wall burned down. They had like a paper wall. Wow. And in one scene, she lit the match, the whole thing. They do incredible visual things. Did, it's well, a cliche. You remember that from NTS and from National yeah. Theatre School? You go and see the French shows, and it's like, oh my God, wow. wow. Yeah. And you see the English shows, and we're all being That's psychological solid. and real. Yeah. They go, wow, You can French. do, but I love us both. Yeah. I love psychology. I mean, there's an anti-psychology movement as well. But I think the intricacies of human motivation and objectives and behavior is that's what we do. That's the water we swim in. That's where we watch people. And um, One more question, one more little subject. Character. Y you, are, you go down the journey of character. Yes. You know, say that, you know, the, the story is really just the, the drape that yes. covers the, it's the character. Yes. What is a character? Right, we're all flesh and bones. We're like tulips. We're like snakes. We're. Uh, like I bears. totally agree. Yeah, flesh so plants. Yeah. Then on the flesh plant yeah. goes this character called Judith. This, yeah. What I've built up all these things. Yeah. It's a construct, yes. E driven by genetics, driven by Partly, situation. Yeah. yeah. Nature, nurture. Yeah. Why are we as a species, through our writers, so fascinated with the character idea? Yeah. I look at Buddhist monks and go. Well, they're not great characters. They're great people, but they're <laughs> right. not, they could be bland in a way. But they're, they're one not, drop in oh the ocean. Oh my God! There's that yeah. Buddhist monk character. Oh, there's <laughs> this Buddhist true. monk character. Yeah, yeah. But we, as writers, and you, as writers, we're what? So what is character? There's human being. There's flesh and bones. What is the character? Well, of course, Aristotle said character is action, because ultimately, I believe that it's not America's all about personality and persona, the mask. And I do believe that, that we ultimately are what we do in the world. So that's why a child, I mean, they can have a persona of like they're perky and energetic or thoughtful, but it's what, what we only really have character, I think, once we're adults because we can take responsibility for our actions. So if Brad Pitt's with a gun, that's as much part of his character as setting up refugee camps. And we are everything. We are our actions and our choices. And that's what we have to write about. Because every day we make a million little choices. And they're ethical choices. And I think every play is about ethical choices. And the audience has to be engaged in what is your ethical choice here? What have you done today? What is your action? And the difference, what's the difference between character and persona? Persona is the image you want to project to the world. So it's the, it's the look of the house, not the bones of the house. I mean, it's that you put, up, you put down a shag carpet and you paint your walls yellow and maybe the house is falling down. Right. So it's, it's, it's to be, uh, it's what you want people to see. And aren't we fascinated by the disjunction between what people want people to see and then the real, you know, the priest who's the abuser or whatever. And I remember as a young person just so surprised by that. How is it possible that this good-seeming person uh, could do such a terrible thing? Or this terrible-seeming person could do such a good thing? Or and in persona, celebrity, mask, yeah. the kind of construct yeah. of people. So the, the persona and the celebrity cultures are reinforce yeah, each other. They do. And, and as I think Joni Mitchell in an interview put it beautifully that it's a mental illness. It's an American mental illness celebrity. And it's, a, it's a pathology, the pathology of celebrity. Um, and yet we don't have enough here in a funny way, but, but they have way too, it's crazy. People are insane when it, when it comes to celebrities. Right. And who was it said celebrities a mask that eats your face? Oh, nice. Nice. Celebrity is a mask that eats your face. Yeah. And it, it is. Uh, again, it's a, yeah. an obsession, a, It an just addiction. drives them all, look at it, to suicide, to drugs, to, to... Surgery. To surgery, yeah. Yeah, it's... So you could say plastic surgery is kind of persona. Completely. Persona work. Yeah. I'm going to have some persona work done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the image of, 
And then as we get older, it's interesting with aging, isn't it? Because we have an image of ourselves and we look in the mirror, partly so we you know, don't have something in our teeth, but partly because we think, oh, I am here. And this is the, this is the persona of Judith in the world, of right. Robert in the world. Right, okay. Because sometimes you can feel your, I feel sometimes like I'm disappearing, vaporizing. And then I look and think, okay, I'm here. Or I, I ride my bike or exercise and that brings me back. We're in a rehearsal hall. Right. Um, but yes, yeah, so as you age, are you still the same persona? And then you sort of, from a distance, you say, oh, yeah, that's, that's gray and that's a little different. But yeah. And, and when I think, don't we want to achieve the persona matching the inside? That's what age does beautifully. People finally have the face they deserve, <laughs> right? With age, we're all kind of leveled. Right, right. And I, I think my mother would point out, you know, someone in their late 80s, oh, she was the knockout in town. She was the, you go, oh, and I remember her saying, you mean she isn't now? Because it was someone who was just like devastated right. people with her beauty. Well, she looks like a sweet old lady. Yeah. So, but all, now it's she's just like the rest of them. Interesting. Well, it rips away the, the, the muscle of denial. Yeah, You yeah. cannot deny who you are. No, exactly. Thank you, Persona Judith. <laughs> Thank you, Persona Robert. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks so much. Okay.